Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is me, Miss Aisha Manzoor, and you are watching my channel, Chemistry Solutions. So today in this lesson, we are going to discuss about the syllabus component from the Cambridge O Level Chemistry 5070 syllabus for 2023 to 2025, and the topic we will also cover from the Cambridge IGCSE Chemistry 0620 syllabus for 2023 to 2025. So in this syllabus the component which we are going to discuss about the two based on atoms elements and compounds so 2.1 is basically the target point that is the elements compounds and mixtures so by the end of this lesson you all will be able to describe the differences between elements compounds and mixtures so let's begin this lesson with the definition of matter what basically matter is any substance which is having mass and occupy space is called as the matter so matter can be classified into pure substance as well as in elements compound and mixture where we are going to describe what basically element is so element is a pure substance we are using this word pure okay so element is a pure substance which cannot be further broken down into simpler substances and this element will be classified in metals and non metals so elements are going to be classified into metals and non metals whereas compounds are going to be classified into molecules and ions so let's define what basically element is so an element is a pure substance which can not be which can not be broken down into simpler substances by chemical means by chemical means for example we have different metals like gold silver hydrogen oxygen so there are 116 elements are non elements and out of which 92 elements are found in the earth and the other 24 elements have been made artificially by scientists okay so this is the periodic table so on the left hand side on my left hand side from group 1 to group from group 1 to group 3 on the left hand side we have metals and on the right hand side we have if we are going to talk about the right hand side this one on the right hand side from group 3 to onwards we have non metals so elements are arranged in the periodic table according to their increasing proton numbers but in further classes we will learn about the this chapter that is the periodic table that now we are going to define metals are basically good conductors of electricity but non metals are not the good conductor of electricity only the graphite is a non metal which can conduct electricity now further if we talk about our an element so element basically having the if we are going to talk about the particles in element so particles in element can be an atom and can be a molecule there can be atom and 
it can be element is basically made up of atoms and molecules so these are the particles which are present in an atom so atom is the smallest unit of element having the properties of that element in itself the so symbol for the element will be same as the given in the priority table like copper if copper name with the copper then its spelling and will becomes symbol will be like this copper cu so what is molecule actually molecule is the if we are going to define molecule so molecule is a group of two or more atoms group of two or more atoms more atoms which are chemically joined together chemically joined together so cl2 is an element is a molecule br2 is an element is a molecule i2 is an element chlorine is an element that is the molecule so these are the basically molecules chlorine bromine iodine so these are the basically the molecules of the same element like oxygen hydrogen so all are the elements so this is the particles of atoms and molecules and now we are going to talk about the compound so compound compounds are formed basically by the chemically combination of two or more elements is a substance containing two or more elements chemically combined together like sodium chloride like water so compounds can be compounds can be made up of an ion or compound can be a molecule so this water is basically a molecule made up of two different elements so we have defined it that the uh, compounds are basically is a pure substance which can be formed by the chemically combination of two or more elements so ions can be and molecules can be the compound so water molecule consists of two elements hydrogen and oxygen and if we are going to talk about the ion so ion is basically an atom or group of atom with an electrical charge for example we have sodium chloride sodium has plus charge plus ion are called as a cation and if we are going to talk about the negative charge in ionic compound cl minus so cl minus is basically negatively charged ion and called as an ion so many compound consists of consist of ions so they are called as the ionic compounds or most are solids sodium chloride is an example so there are different formulas and names we will learn in the further classes but here we have learned that the compounds can be molecules and compounds can be ions now the further after studying about the atoms molecules and compounds we are going to discuss what basically mixture is there can be two types of mixtures homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture so first of all we must know that the what basically mixture is so mixture consists of two or more substances that are not chemically joined together mixtures are basically the two or more substances which are not chemically joined together so mixture can be homogeneous and mixture can be heterogeneous hetero means different and homo means similar so let me write it let me describe the definition of homogeneous mixture is basically a mixture homogeneous mixture is that mixture in which the component mixture mix with each other component mixture mix with each other with each other component mixture mix with each other
and form a uniform solution throughout the liquid mix with each other the component of the mixture mix with each other to form a uniform solution uniform solutions so uniform means same and if we are going to talk about the heterogeneous mixture so in the heterogeneous mixture different a heterogeneous mixture is that mixture in which the composition is not uniform throughout the liquid so different components are observed in heterogeneous mixture like if chalk in water is an example of heterogeneous mixture different components are observed in heterogeneous mixture so air is a mixture of gases so if do not forget that the, this air molecules in the air water molecules nit nitrogen nitrous molecules uh, carbon dioxide gas no2 gas nitrogen monoxide different gases are there chlorofluorocarbons can be there in the polluted air methane gas is there ozone o3 is there so all are made up of a this is a air molecules and this is a mixture of molecules so if we are going to talk about the metals the mixture of metal is called as the alloy so alloys are the mixture of metals and to somehow non metal sometimes carbon is being added to form steel in iron so basically alloys is the mixture of metals like brass and bronze to improve the quality of metals are basically pure metals uh brass bronze are little harder to make the metal more harder and more uh, good in quality alloys will be formed so mixture can be classified into heterogeneous and homogeneous mixture so if uniformly all the molecules are spread throughout the liquid we will say homogeneous mixture if it is not mixed throughout the liquid it is called a heterogeneous mixture so this is the part of the uh, this is uh, of the mixtures so here are the some of the examples of uh, heterogeneous mixtures and homogeneous mixtures so in this lesson you all have learned about the differences between elements compounds and mixtures so here you people can see some of the differences between elements compounds and mixtures here in the uh, in this table so this table is going to show you the differences between elements compounds and mixtures basically more often we got the differences between compounds and mixtures so this is the end of the lesson so i hope so that you people have learned it very well so inshallah i will see you in the next lesson consistency is the key of success so signing off miss aisha manzoor